All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of three x plus two to the power of x is equal to 10. So I'm gonna first start by letting y equal two to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So two to the power of three x, that's gonna equal two to the power of x to the power of three. Now I have this plus two to the power of x is equal to 10. Now I'm going to let two to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get y to the power of three plus y is equal to 10. Now if I subtract 10 on both sides, I get y to the power of three plus y minus 10 is equal to zero. And now y, I can rewrite this as five y minus four y. Now from here, I can factor by grouping. And before I do that, I'm gonna switch the order of five y and four y. So I now have y to the power of three minus four y plus five y minus 10 is equal to zero. So now if I factor by grouping, I can start with y to the power of three minus four y. I'm gonna factor out y, so I get y times y squared minus four, plus from five y minus 10, I have five times y minus two is equal to zero. Now y squared minus four, I can rewrite that as y plus two times y minus two. And now from here, notice that the only common factor for all these terms is y minus two. So I have y minus two times y times y plus two plus five is equal to zero. And now if I simplify this, I get y minus two times y squared plus two y plus five is equal to zero. And now I, I get two equations. I get y minus two is equal to zero and y squared plus two y plus five is equal to zero. So for y minus two equals zero, y is obviously equal to two. And for y squared plus two y plus five equals zero, we're gonna use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. So in this case, a is one, b is two, and c is five. So I get y is equal to negative two plus or minus the square root of b squared, so two squared, which is four, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is five, all over two a, so two times one. And this is equal to negative two plus or minus the square root of four minus 20, which is negative 16 over two. And I can write this as negative two plus or minus the square root of 16 times the square root of negative one over two. And this is equal to negative two plus or minus the square root of 16 times i because the square root of negative one is equal to i. And the square root of 16, that's equal to four. So I get y is equal to negative two plus or minus four i over two. Now, if I divide two with both these terms, I get y equals negative one plus or minus two i. Now, remember how we let two to the power of x equal to y. So I get two to the power of x is equal to two i minus one and I get two to the power of x is equal to negative two i minus, minus one. Now we can't actually take the power of a positive number and make it equal to something with i. So there is no solution for this, meaning that we can only use y equals two. So I get two to the power of x equals two, meaning our only solution for x is one.